another one. What's up, my name is Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So in today's video, I want us to go back, uh, go down memory lane and take a look at a stock that we had talked about here on the channel, which is ticket symbol INO, Innovio. So we did a video here with our top five COVID stocks and uh, Innovio was featured in that top five. Number three is INO. And so the, the last week, Innovio just like exploded just blew past our, our price target of $25 and actually hit a high of about $34, I think. So the question is, why did Innovio just go crazy? Did they have a vaccine for COVID? Um, the answer is no. So we're gonna take a look at why they went um, and then also look at where the analysts are suggesting now what the new price target for Innovio and see if that makes sense, if it's a buy, if it's a hold, or if it's a sell situation. So let's jump right in and take a look. So last week, um, news actually came out that um, um, Innovio um, had secured um, a $71 million contract with the U.S. Department of Defense um, to scale their um, manufacturing of its um, Selectra uh, 3PSP smart devices. Um, I don't really know exactly what those devices do, um, but definitely the fact that the Department of Defense is spending $71 million on it means it's something that's really important. So that actually drove the... the the stock price from what we're accustomed uh, of seeing. So we're gonna take a look at the charts here pretty soon. But so here's what happened. So if you notice that this stock actually from just getting this result, um, the stock jumped up 22% um, right here, 22%, which is kind of crazy. So um, and so we know for sure that Innovio is working on a, a coronavirus vaccine and that, news hasn't even come out yet they went through phase one things were looking good so we're still waiting for their phase two trial and all that good stuff so i'm anticipating that if uh, they were to come out anytime now or in the next two or three months and announce that their phase two trial are uh, looking pretty awesome and very positive and they're looking at maybe given a date where we're anticipating really getting some trials on humans um, with your vaccines, um, I, I'm, I guarantee that your stock is just going to go crazy. So the question is, is this a, a, a good time? Let's, so let's look at what happened again from, from last week. So um, this is a stock, um, if you see here, starting back in, um, in say around February, see where the stock was at about f under $5. Uh, come March, which it's kind of crazy because in March, um, which is when the coronavirus thing really crumbled the economy uh, around March 22nd to 23rd. Within that range, the stock did pretty good. And the reason why the stock was doing good during that period is because they had this talk about them producing a vaccine. So if you see that the high of the stock in, in, in March alone was about 19, over $19, as uh, so you can see here in the chat. And then uh, come April, they pulled back um, and then May, there wasn't that much movement. So you see a high here, we're about 16 and that was it. And then this is June um, and specifically June um, after this news came out, which is just last week, um, see how the stock went from trading here at just about, about uh, $12 or whatever. And look at, look at that squeeze all the way to a high of close to $34 dollars which is ridiculous so um when we had talked about your stock back in 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 um in april um if you had gotten in the stock was trading at that time around 12 dollars and some change so if you had gotten in at that time uh, from 12 dollars to a squeeze of about close to 34 dollars that is ridiculous returns um so i hope that those of you that bought the stock when we talked about it here um, that you've made some profit and you've taken some profit off the table and I don't want you to be a greedy savage Take some profit off the table and then just sit back and wait um, Again, I know for sure This is just my take that if they came out with some news tomorrow and talk about COVID vaccine If it's good news, this, the stock would skyrocket if it's bad news It would pull the stock down to the point where we don't even want to touch it with our hands so um, that is the reason why this stock again 
kind of exploded last week. And the question is, is this going to continue um, um, until this coming week? We have no idea. So um, let's take a look and see what uh, tip rank actually says about the stock. So um, tip rank is a service that I use, um, you know, you have top analysts in the country uh, that tells you for the most part where, um, you know, a good entry price for a stock and, and just kind of a, a high price for that stock. So T brand is telling us that this, they're looking at a high of about $45. And so, so if we go back to um, the current price right now, um, when I was doing this video, it was uh, the market closed on Friday at uh, $29 and, and, and 98 cents. And then um, um, after hours, it actually pulled back a little bit to $28 and 50, 56 cents. So, uh, the question is, um, this week is that is that price still going to continue? Is still going to pop or and still going to make that move? Um, we don't know, but looking long term, this is what analysts are saying that um, they're anticipating uh, a high price of about forty-five dollars. So even at twenty-eight dollars, so if you can still pick up some of the shares, again, this is a very risky stock, guys. Um, I'll just say when you invest in, in companies like this, um, be sure that the money you're putting there is not your rent or anything, because um, these these are stocks that can either take you to the moon or they can put you uh, on the street. They can put you under a bridge. Um, so you should be very, very careful. Like again, like I said, if you invested back in, in April when we talked about the stock, you'll be going to the moon. You'll be in the moon, like relaxing your own property uh, in the moon. But it, again, if something came out, if it was bad news, well, you'd be homeless. So be, be very cautious with this. So that is, um, that's what, what I'm seeing. So I, I guess my, my take to this is where the stock is currently at is just um, a wait and see, in, in my opinion. Um, you can just watch this week. If you see some movement and there's more momentum moving up uh, for swing traders, you can jump in, make some profit, um, and then wait and then see uh, if, if it settles down or not. But don't just jump in without getting um, a really good confirmation um, that this, or, or knowing that there's really some good news out there that you can actually use to, um, to control when to go in when to exit so as you can see guys um innovio actually has made a really good amount of uh, uh returns for people that invested in the early stages of the company um again if you invested back in march and hang on to your investments um where it went up to about 34 dollars you would be sitting pretty good on some really good returns um for swing traders uh no this is pretty good um if you're a long-term investor um, I personally, I'm looking at this is if this company comes out with a vaccine, you're going to be awesome. Um, but um, it, other than that, it's still very, very risky. It's a very risky stock. So um, invest with caution if you have to. Um, I personally, I made, I've made good money off of this stock. So um, I, this again, this is my strategy. It might not apply to you. Um, I'm still looking at it. To, uh, this coming week, I'm going to day trade the stock. Um, I'm not going to try to buy it and hold it. I'm going to day trade it and just go um, on a day to day. So I'll get up in the morning, look at some, you know, pick up some and see if you make a move, uh, take some profit and just put it um, for long term stocks. I have a ton of stocks that I really that I have in my portfolio that I hold for long term. I take that money and put it there that I, I feel confident about. So uh, question again is should you buy, hold or sell? Um, Innovio. Um, at this point, I say if you own the stock, it's, it, you might take some profit and hold some. Um, if if you don't own the stock yet, just wait and see if there's a pullback. Again, if you can pull back under twenty twenty five dollars, like the analysts are saying, then that might be a good entry point. And then your price target at that you're looking at that forty five dollar price uh, target to hopefully take some profit again off the table. So that's it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. YouTube tells me that 90% of you guys um, watching haven't already subscribed to my channel, so it would make my day if you hit that subscribe button. Also, if you're looking to start uh, trading, um, a good platform that I use and I recommend is Weibo. Um, and right now they're doing a promotion where they're giving two free stocks for you signing up. First one goes, uh, I think, from like $2 to $250. And the second one is from $12 to about $1,400. So definitely check the links in the description and go check them out. And as always, guys, stay motivated.